question 5b, it says, it gives you this graph, and it says, this is the graph um, at the end of the, what's received at the end of the transmission link. Okay, the first question asks you to label the start bit, stop bit, and the parity bit. Okay? This signal here is one of these signals given in a graph, in a table above. Alright? Each of these is um, a seven, uh, seven bits of data. Alright? So we know in here we've got a start bit, seven bits of data, a parity bit, then a stop bit. Okay? First thing to do is identify the start bit, which is always when it falls from logic one down to logic zero for the first time. So this bit here is the start bit. Okay? Then we know that all of the code, all of the code is being sent in seven bits, so we can count on from there seven bits until we get to the parity bit. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is our seventh bit, so the immediate bit after that is the parity bit. Okay? The parity bit. Then immediately after the parity bit must be the, the stop bit. The stop bit tells it, yeah, I've, re I've received the whole signal and the parity bit. So the stop bit is the one that goes after the parity bit. Okay, so that's that. The next part of the question asks you, to you using this table, um, determine, the determine which letter has been sent through, uh, through the transmission. What we do, the easiest way, I would say, is to label these up. So we know that's logic 1, that's 0, that's 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. Okay? When this data is sent, it's sent in reverse. So, we're looking for the combination which goes from 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, looking back in our table, data what goes 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0 is M. So, the answer to the second part is M. 